Hello all and welcome to another mail call video. This is not just a mail call but also an unboxing video because I have received a couple of packages. These are some uh, projects and ingots that uh, still need to be stacked in there by the way. Uh, future video of me casting this stuff uh, coming up and uh, the Lego man should be up uh, uh, now already. Um, but other than that, um, these boxes came from a uh, good uh, supporter of uh, all the scrapping channels and uh, is uh, usually in many of the live streams chat. I'm not sure if he has content himself. Um, he's not really a creator, I, I guess. Uh, his name is Stampert. He's also a Dutch guy. And uh, he at some point reached out to me on Facebook saying, hey, I have some uh, stuff like copper and aluminium uh, scrap uh, that you can like melt into all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, he sent me this box and I had that for about a week or two, I think now. And uh, all of a sudden I got a notification in the mail. There's a package delivered at the neighbors. And uh, I thought, oh, uh, well, I was actually expecting something else also. I thought it'd probably be that. Uh, but uh, then uh, Stampert uh, reached out to me on Facebook again saying, hey, there's a package delivered at your neighbor's. So I knew it wasn't the thing that I was expecting, but it was an even bigger box. So let's open these up and see what he sent me, because I have no idea. <laughs> Looks like a pack of mincemeat, but it's actually all fine copper wire. That's nice. So that's one. Another one, big ball of wire. This is all good stuff. It's quite heavy. And then there is, I think, aluminium wire. Could be some... Uh, could be some copper wire. Oh, this is very light. This is probably aluminium. This probably is. Some of this could be like uh, nickel-plated or tin-plated copper wire. I'm going to have to sort that out. Just don't want to mix that one melting. But this uh, this is good stuff. Let's see what else is in here. What the hell? Oh, look at this. This is copper. This is a bar. This is the biggest piece of copper I've ever. This is a solid copper well beam, I guess. I mean, this is basically an ingot by itself. Look at the size of the thing. This will, uh, this will melt into something nice. Let me put that there. Let's see, there's a small box in here. What does this say? Uh, slitter? I'm not sure what that means. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a magnet, I think. Uh, keychain magnet thing hey yeah well I always have my Swiss Army knife on me with my magnet so well I guess this is a handy thing for uh, for scrappers to have uh... oh that's cool what's the other thing that's in here what is this oh I think this is a wire stripper yes it is it has small can I put this on the screen here small sharp points on the inside so there's a couple of different of thicknesses of wire this could be handy i'm gonna give this a try in the near future that's awesome more more duct tape oh look at this all kinds of aluminium goodies aluminium plating cast aluminium all kinds of stuff. More cast aluminium. Oh, this even has some brass on it. I'm going to have to get that out. Yeah. Oh, look. These are, these are nice. Christmas decorations. Oh, look. More hard drive casings. I've recently melted a, a few. 
became uh, that stack of ingots and uh, and this video coming up soon or might even be up if I decide to put that video up before this one so yeah let's see uh, heavy oh a big pile of aluminium and a sturdy box I can use for all kinds of stuff but the Again, no idea what's in here. This one he said was 27 kilograms. So multiply that by 2.2 to get the amount of pounds. Look at this. You can put some. Uh, Padding bubbles and stuff in there. More cast aluminium pieces. Wow. This is a, just an empty cardboard box for filling, I guess. Oh, these I like. Extruded aluminium heat sinks. What is all this? Some more scrap. Hey, a plastic. Uh, I use the same box for my uh, for my MOSFETs. Let's see what's in here. Open up more wire full of copper wire. Wow, this is awesome! A scrapped out cast aluminium frame of a motor. That saves me scrapping it out. What's this? Is this actual copper plating? No, this is aluminium plating, I think. With a copper layer on it. Or is this for circuit boards? I think these might be uh, cutoffs from uh, circuit boards. Wow. A lot of cast aluminium. This I recognize. This is from one of those uh, small fold up uh, scooters. I've taken those apart before as well wow there's all kinds of stuff in here I got a decent pile of cast aluminium now wow plating what is this oh it's a it's a small kettle I think or what could this be, like a mixer? Part of it? I don't know. It's cast aluminium, I'm going to melt it anyway. Oh, some more, ooh, brass padlocks, I love these. These are good chunks of, of brass. Awesome. Pieces of antenna, which is also brass. Too bad this fell over. But... Wow. You know what, um, to save some time, I'm going to uh, go through this whole thing and uh, make some uh, nice piles and setups and show you uh, whatever that, that was in here. If I can fit that in this tiny space that I have available here. Hold on, I'll be right back. So, this is the whole pile. I'm kind of amazed at what's uh, in these two boxes. Let me go over everything uh, quick so you can uh, have a look. This is mostly uh, sheet aluminium and some other assorted pieces. There's even two useful handles in here that uh, might uh, serve some purpose at some point. There's some uh, extruded aluminium heat sinks. There was this uh, box of aluminium wire and probably some uh, copper wire that has like tin or, or nickel plating uh, around it. There was a uh, box of... Uh, stripped copper wire there's a couple of more boxes of stripped copper wire and there's uh, some of this copper sheet and uh, some uh, other random copper pieces in there there was a, a big aluminium plate that has a pattern on there it's not too interesting but a uh, nice plate uh, for uh, whatever purpose and a whole of a lot of brass now this bundle and this little one will be turned into uh, padlock ingots at some point. 
some antennas that are also brass, some brass plumbing and some white brass plumbing and quite some white brass keys and uh, a lock that is probably also uh, yeah, all, uh, brass and white brass because uh, it is not magnetic and um, when filing it doesn't really turn yellowish so probably some type of white brass a uh, brass handle from something might even be a type of bronze it's slightly different colored but for the most part i think it's brass another brass piece some more assorted aluminium pieces that i couldn't really identify most of it is probably sheet and another aluminium tray some other aluminium bits and bobs in there i think these little things might actually be cast aluminium however that would be weird but not magnetic uh, let's see this big beam of course uh, and there was a quite a few of these aluminium uh, star things in there i think i have seven i bet mo homesteading would love these so uh, maybe i'll send them over to her i'm uh, making a package for her anyway so i could include those like uh, like i showed the little magnet and the wire stripper and what I think might be a piece of um, magnesium, actually. Uh, some CPUs, uh, like the old style uh, without the pins. And I think this one used to have pins or is just popped off a mainboard somewhere. Smaller one that has a uh, nickel plated, uh, I think this is, these are all, is all nickel plated copper caps. This one has been filed. So you can see it's copper. Uh, I think a couple of big hard drives and a small one. And some um, hard drive related pieces that I uh, put together. Um, these are some interesting pieces. This was uh, quite a surprise to see. Cast aluminium uh, gun parts. Probably from a uh, um, air rifle or a BB gun or whatever. Knife handle. Uh, also cast aluminium. Uh, this is interesting though because uh, I've spent quite some time traveling by train uh, in my younger days. This is an ashtray from uh, a train seat when there was like a smoking section. Uh, I think they're still there. I'm not really sure. I haven't been with the train for some time. But this says ALMG, meaning it's an aluminium um, magnesium alloy. And some part has been filed off, which is kind of annoying to me. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know why, but that would, could have uh, said more about uh, the composition of this thing. But yeah, uh, cool little ashtray thing. Uh, quite some uh, more extruded, uh, no, cast aluminium. Some bits I showed from the first box. Big engine block that had been split apart. Uh, some other things, uh, smaller stuff, all cast aluminium. This pot uh, is, is two different types of aluminium, I think. This top part is probably cast. And the bottom part, I don't know, might be something slightly different. Could be the machine door. I don't know. Maybe also cast, but different type of alloy. Not really sure. But, uh, yeah, some cool stuff. What is left of a Razor scooter. Uh, a nice bundle of um, uh, thick aluminium wire, and uh, this will uh, be molten uh, separately. I try to keep my uh, different types of aluminium separate and then uh, stamp the ingots like I did with this one. This is uh, HDD aluminium and this is 1204 grams. So that's basically just hard drive casings. And I try to do that uh, for most uh, types of aluminium, just to uh, to keep it separate and to uh, to know what it's from. Oh, another thing here: these these boards, they are indeed circuit boards. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the copper off, or if it's even interesting to do so. Let me come here. See, one side is like that uh, circuit board plastic, and the other side is completely copper. So uh, these are unetched and are still usable to make uh, circuit boards uh, to get the tracing on. Now, I used to do that in high school when I was actually studying uh, electronics. 
but uh, these days not so much of course because I went from electronics to IT and now I fix washing machines and dishwashers and stuff and weirdly enough I'm making more money uh, there was also uh, this thing in the beginning I didn't really know uh, what purpose this had and I thought oh maybe it's something he wants me to scrap out then I looked there were actually batteries in there and dark gone it the damn thing actually works so let's weigh this big bar 1756 grams so that's one kilo 1.7 kilograms can I change this to mode um, no it just has grams so yeah um, do this times 2.2 and then you get the amount of pounds yeah so yeah I guess that was it it was a uh, quite a whole pile and uh, the scales I will probably be using in uh, my future videos because this is quite a handy little little tray you can take this out put stuff in put it back in there yeah so uh, Stompert thank you very much if anyone else wants to send me stuff please don't I have enough <laughs> no I'm kidding I'm always open to uh, donations and stuff uh, um, although aluminium wise I'm kind of okay by now copper I also have quite a lot brass I don't get so much so nice pieces of brass would be cool um, electronics to scrap out stickers if you want your stickers promoted here and um, when I get stickers I'll be sending them out as well so yeah I guess that's it I'll uh, see you around Stampert uh, in the chat probably uh, tonight at Raphael Scrapper so to anyone watching um, thanks for bearing with me through this uh, uh, unboxing and unpacking and sorting of all this stuff I uh, got uh, some nice stuff to melt look for future videos where I melt uh, either uh, of these things Look for uh, the videos where I made this stuff and uh, all this. And these are the Twinkies left over from Project Gills Gills and some brass and some. Uh, I made some pewter Lego men. I think that, yeah, that, the video is up. So, yes. Um, thank you for watching. And see you all on the next one.